Hello, Chuck and Terry here, and we're here to show you how you can build your own bed insert, just like the one you saw in our previous video. We knew that a full-size mattress was perfect for our van, so we decided to go with a tri-fold mattress for the ease of taking it in and out of the van. It would just end for storing it, because the full-size mattress is just too much to store. To start this project, we're gonna cut three sections of plywood that match the exact size of the mattress. That allows you the flexibility of the tri-fold frame. We cut three sections of plywood, two foot by four foot, and they're one half inch birch, which is incredibly straight and true. Then two of the sections, we notched out the corners. The next step in our project is we're gonna build the two by four frame that supports the bed. Ouch, she got stung by a goddamn bee. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do is make these two rectangular sections with two by fours. To do that, I'm taking my longer pieces for the instructions that will be in the link. Take the longer pieces and lay out where the two by four supports are going to be. So I've pre-measured and I'm just going to mark them off. That allows me to know exactly where those two by fours are going to be laid out. Now we simply assemble using three inch deck screws. For the next step, we're going to attach the platform to the frame we just made using one and a half inch screws. To ensure that you have proper distance between the two frames, use your 40 and 7 8 inch boards and mark off, putting it on top to ensure that it's going to clear. You're going to end up installing this underneath but for now, we're just gonna use it to make sure that the both sides are equal distance. Now we're going to attach two cross braces with the same screws. The next phase of this is we're going to take one of the end pieces and we're going to put it on top of this frame and separate about a quarter inch, just enough to recess these the hinges. So you just want to reset, recess it just a little bit. And then we're going to come underneath here and we're going to score using a pencil along the two by four. So now that I've scored the two lines with pencil, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to line up this 2x4 about a quarter inch from those lines. That gives it plenty of room to clear the frame. So now I'm just going to attach it with one and a half inch screws. I'm simply going to attach the hinges. When we started this build, this is something I really wanted. I wanted it to ratchet up. I didn't want it to be held with a pole or a string. 
And so I really tested Chuck's patience because we she was horrible. We had to take it apart several times before we got this measurement. This 10 inches and this 19 and 7 eighths. And it, we needed to have that distance so that the ratcheting system could drop down below the two by fours. So I pre-measured at 10 inches and 19 and 7 eighths. Now I just have to take these out. So this part is a little bit tricky, but I've preset the screws in here to make me look amazing. Basically, you're taking this assembly and attaching, I'll we'll call it the smaller section, so that it extends up, right? T okay. uh, pointing up. Yeah. So underneath, you're gonna attach two screws, and these are the inch and a half screws. So pull this section of the bed down, lay it down, just let it set down, pull your hinge up that you just installed, and you wanna hold it up nice and flush like that, and then just mark your two holes. It's a little bit easier doing it this way by having those pencil marks. I don't have to try and get under and put these screws in, but you're going to want to use half inch screws uh, so they don't come out the other side. Just find your pencil marks. And apply two screws. Okay, for the last section, we're gonna frame it out, but we're gonna leave some relief here for these corners. Sorry, it's DJ. Hey. Okay, for the last section, we've propped up with four two by fours, and we're gonna attach the hinges and you're gonna do the same thing you did before. You're gonna essentially line it up so there's a gap between the boards. Step is the third and final section and this section lifts up as our storage unit and we need to fold up legs so that we can turn it back and potentially make a couch if that's what you're looking for so you need those legs to be freestanding and so that's what we're gonna do now and what I want to do is measure down an inch and a quarter and drill right in the center So the next thing you want is a really, actually a, a somewhat specialized screw. I think they're called ledger lockers. We just happen to have a bunch of them from an old build. Um, these are a little extra long, but you don't need them this, this long, maybe four inches. I think these are six, maybe eight inches. But you'll notice the threading is down here and this is all smooth. That's pretty critical because you want this uh, leg to swing. Um, so once you get that hole drilled, you're going to take two washers, put it through uh, the leg, slide those washers on. Probably could have done this before I, there we go. 
and uh, put it in your hole. Now we just screw it in. Free flowing. Okay, if you notice these swinging legs, you want them to be able to go this way, but you really don't want them coming back this direction. So what we do is we put little stops in. Basically all I've done is ripped a two by four and a half, becomes really a two by two. And I'm gonna, I just chamfered it so it looks better. And I wanna screw it in so that it blocks it from moving back this direction toward me. So you'll notice a big difference between the new bed we just built and the one that's in our current van. That's because we're accommodating for this slope inside the vehicle. Your vehicle is going to be different. So you'll have to accommodate through using a 2x4 and a level and then measure the slope. To add the finishing touches, you may choose to take a piece of trim off your van or your vehicle and take it into your local hardware store or you know big box store and have them match the paint color and then you can paint your bed the color of the interior of your van or if you want to be a little bolder you can just pick any color you want in our next video we'll show you how to build our pull out kitchen drawer in our next talk to the camera in our next video we'll show you how to build our pull out kitchen in our next video, we'll show you how to build that cool, I don't know, something slide out. In our next video, we'll show you how to build our really cool pull out kitchen drawer. Or, storage drawer, or whatever you choose to use it for. We just like it for our kitchen. Whatever.